Okay, so I just made this movie and it didn't turn out very well, so I'm doing it over again. And let's see, here we go. So I've got this garage band set up. And so what I've done here is I've made a little course composer patch that is going to allow me to use this MIDI receiver or this MIDI device to control this movie that's playing in the lower left hand corner. And every time I hit my key, like I'm hitting the third here in the, in the key of C, it brings the movie back to the number three. Likewise, if I hit the six, it's going to bring it right back to the six. There's the fifth. All right, so how does this do this? that and here we have my quartz composer composition and I'm using this JavaScript patch and within this JavaScript patch I have defined a bunch of input numbers input number zero down here through input number seven. So that's one input for each note in the scale. And you'll see here they, they show up as input number zero through input number seven. And I'm using this movie that I created, this one here, this movie importer. And what I've done is I have created, let's see if I can bring this up, created this little movie uh, in iMovie. And here it is, it's coming to iTunes, it's going to play in iTunes. I just got one out on the internet and I got a bunch of Creative Commons photographs that had numbers uh, so that I could composite them into a film. And I, I seem to be running out of memory here. I've got so many things running on this system. Uh, so anyway, here's that movie. I'll start it over. One, two, etc. So, anyway, I've taken the location of this, which is actually out on my desktop, and I have put it into the movie location parameter for this movie importer. So you can see it right here. And this, of course, then is going to be shown on this billboard. It goes through this source atop patch, which allows me to take video input from my eyesight camera, resize it so that it's small enough, and then send it through here so that it shows up here in the lower left-hand corner of the image. That way, not only can you see the video, but you can see me explaining it also. And, uh, all right, so the main thing here is this Java patch, which really is very easy. We're just taking that slice that's one eighth of the duration. As you can see here, I'm getting the movie duration in my movie importer, and I am grabbing that as an input also in this JavaScript patch. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the resultant position, the result position, which is going to be whatever slice I get. Uh, uh, 
so if I get you know slice number three I go to slice times four and then subtract a slice out and that's going to put my playhead uh, a third of the way into the movie and so I can hit the three and it's going to jump right back there to the number three and that's about it it's uh, fairly simple to do and uh, I'm having a bit of fun with it.